I feel nauseous, believe me Never had a lot of shit come easy Had to work hard, struggle just to be me Come on inside. Sigrid will get you something to eat. You can tell us what happened. Oh, my dragon. Stupid my dog. dog. What? What is it now, mother? Now ain't this a surprise? <laughs> I heard something.
Better than us risking our necks. Now wait, this is a prize. <laughs> Did it, you killed it. Now cut me down before anything else shows up. Yes, the claw. I know how it works. The claw, the markings, the door in the hall of stories. I know how they all fit together. Help me down and I'll show you. You won't believe the power the Nords have hidden there. Does it look like I can move? You have to cut me down first. It's coming loose. I can feel it. You fool. Why should I share the treasure with anyone?
Take what you need, my friend. Within reason, of course. You look strong. I'm here to help. The Companions are my family. We fight so that other people don't have to. We bring honor and glory to ourselves and each other. Kodlak is the one who figures out who can be a Companion. So talk to him. It's out of my hands. Vilkas and I have been here since we were little whelps. Our father, Jürgen, raised us here. Even Vigner couldn't remember companions younger than us. Too confusing for me. Empire, Nords, Talos, who cares? Just tell me who needs bludgeoning. Well, mm -hmm. that's taken care of. No thanks to you. Certainly not, but a true warrior would have relished the opportunity to take on a giant. That's why I'm here, with my S.H.I.E.L.D. brothers. An outsider, eh? Never heard of the Companions? An order of warriors. We are brothers and sisters in honor. And we show up to solve problems if the coin is good enough. Not for me to say. You'll have to talk to Kodlak Whitemane, up in Yurvaskar. The old man's got a good sense for people. He can look in your eyes and tell your worth. If you go to him, good luck. Thinking I need to train some more. Fight with us and you'll have stories to tell. Come up to your Vasker, if you're worth anything in a fight. There's a nip in the air. Cold won't be good for my crops. Never is. Halt! It is closed with the dragons about. Official business only. Fine. 
but we'll be keeping an eye on you. Helgen got we'll hit pay by whatever it takes, but we must have more here. swords for the Imperial soldiers. I just can't fill an order that size on my own. Why don't you swallow that stubborn pride of yours and ask Jorland Greymane for help? <laughs> I'd sooner bend my knee to Ulfric's Stormcloak. Besides, Greymane would never make steel for the Legion. Have it your way. I'll take the job, but don't expect a miracle. I can handle but this talk of dragons. You're going mad, I'd say. Nothing? What's My the Lord, meaning of this please. interruption? This is no Jarl Balgrath is action. not receiving visitors. I just think we need more information before we act. I just... Who is this, then? As House Carl, my job is to deal with all dangers that threaten the Jarl or his people. So you have my attention. Now explain yourself. Whatever you have to say to the Jarl, you can say to me. It's all I'm right starting here. to think... I want to hear what he has to say. What's this about Riverwood being in danger? Balgor? The smith, isn't he? Reliable, solid fellow. Not prone to flights of fancy. And you're sure Helgen was destroyed by a dragon. This wasn't some storm cloak raid gone wrong. By Ismir, Irileth was right. What do you say now, Proventus? Shall we continue to trust in the strength of our walls against the dragon? My lord. We should send troops to Riverwood at once. It's in the most immediate danger. If that the dragon Yarl is Ulfric lurking in the mountains... view that as a provocation. He'll assume we're preparing to join Ulfric's side and attack him. We should Enough. not... I'll not stand idly by while the dragon burns my hold and slaughters my people. Irileth, send a detachment to Riverwood at once. Yes, my Jarl. If you'll excuse me, I'll return to my duties. That would be best. Well done. You sought me out on your own initiative. You've done White Run a service, and I won't forget it. Here, take this as a small token of my esteem. There is another thing you could do for me. Suitable for someone of your particular talents, perhaps. Come, let's go find Faringar, my court wizard. He's been looking into a matter related to these dragons and rumors of dragons. Oh. Come to Dragon's Reach to discuss the ongoing hostilities, like the rest of the great warriors. Hmm? What? Project? You think you could help me? I really don't think so. 
The Jarl can be found in the Great Hall, probably sitting on Barringar. his Jarl's throne. I think I Not found over someone here in a wizard with laboratory. Her dragon project. Go ahead and fill him in with all the details. So the Jarl thinks you can be of use to me. Oh yes, he must be referring to my research into the dragons. Yes, I could use someone to fetch something for me. Well, when I say fetch, I really mean delve into a dangerous ruin in search of an ancient stone tablet that may or may not actually be there. Ah, no mere brute mercenary, but a thinker. Perhaps even a scholar? You see, when the stories of dragons began to circulate, many dismissed them as mere fantasies, rumors, impossibilities. One sure mark of a fool is to dismiss anything that falls outside his experience as being impossible. But I began to search for information about dragons. Where had they gone all those years ago? And where were they coming from? I, uh, learned of a certain stone tablet said to be housed in Bleak Falls Barrow. A dragon stone, said to contain a map of dragon burial sites. Go to Bleak Falls Barrow, find this tablet, no doubt interred in the main chamber, and bring it to me. Simplicity itself. Ah, the dragon stone of Bleak Falls Barrow. You already found it. You are cut from a different cloth than the usual brutes the Jarl foists on me. That is where your job ends and mine begins. The work of the mind, sadly undervalued in Skyrim. Varengar. Jarl Bargraf is waiting. Varengar, you need to come at once. A dragon's been sighted nearby. You should come too. A dragon? How exciting. Where was it seen? What was it doing? I'd take this a bit more seriously if I were you. If a dragon decides to attack Whiterun, I don't know if we can stop it. Let's go. Not now. So, Irileth tells me you came from the Western Watchtower? Yes, my lord. Tell him what you told me about the dragon. Oh, that's right. We saw it coming from the south. It was fast. Faster than anything I've ever seen. What did it do? Is it attacking the Watchtower? No, my lord. It was just circling overhead when I left. I never ran so fast in my life. I thought it would have come after me, for sure. Good work, son. We'll take it from here. Head down to the barracks for some food and rest. You've earned it. Irleth, you'd better gather some guardsmen and get down there. I've already ordered my men to muster near the main gate. Good. Don't fail me. There's no time to stand on ceremony, my friend. I need your help again. I want you to go with Irileth and help her fight this dragon. You survived Helgen, so you have more experience with dragons than anyone else here. But I haven't forgotten the service you did for me in retrieving the dragon stone for Faringar. As a token of my esteem, I have instructed Avenici that you are now permitted to purchase property in the city. And please, accept this gift from my personal armory. I should come along. I would very much like to see this dragon. No. I can't afford to risk both of you. I need you here working on ways to defend the city against these dragons. As you command. One last thing, Irileth. This isn't a death or glory mission. I need to know what we're dealing with. Don't worry, my lord. 
I am the very soul of caution. I envy you the chance to see this dragon up close. Come to Dragon's Reach to discuss the ongoing hostilities. and Dragon Street say you aided the yard. Well, I can't stop now. And I can't get the sword on my own. I just need to hire one, maybe two. Everything's all right. No signs of any dragon right now, but it sure looks like he's been here. I know it looks bad, but we've got to figure out what happened, and if that dragon is still skulking around somewhere. Spread out, and look for survivors. We need to know what we're feeling. still here somewhere. Corky and Tor just got grabbed when they tried to make a run for it. Kinneret, save us. Here he comes again. Here he comes. Find cover and make every arrow count.
I can't believe it. You're dragonborn. In the very oldest tales, back from when there were still dragons in Skyrim, the dragonborn would slay dragons and steal their power. That's what you did, isn't it? Absorb the dragon's power. There's only one way to find out. Try to shout. According to the old legends, only the dragonborn can shout without training, the way the dragons do. Dragonborn? What are you talking about? That's right. My grandfather used to tell stories about the dragonborn. Those born with the dragon blood in them. Like old Tiber Septim himself. I never heard of Tiber Septim killing any dragon. There weren't any dragons. <laughs> They're just coming back now for the first time in forever. But the old tales tell of the dragonborn who could kill dragons and steal their power. You must be one. What do you say, Irlen? You're being awfully quiet. Come on, Irlen. Tell us. Do you believe in this dragonborn business? <laughs> Some of you would be better off keeping quiet than flapping your gums on matters you don't know anything about. Here's a dead dragon, and that's something I definitely understand. Now we know we can kill them. But I don't need some mythical dragonborn. Someone who can put down a dragon is more than enough for me. You wouldn't understand, Housecar. You ain't an orc. I've been all across Tamriel. I've seen plenty of things just as outlandish as this. I'd advise you all to trust in the strength of your sword arm over tales and legends. There's been talk amongst the gods that you are a dragon. Good, you're finally here. The Jarl's been waiting for you. You heard the summons. What else could it mean? The Greybeards. We were just talking about you. My brother needs a word with you. So what happened at the Watchtower? Was the dragon there? Dragonborn. 
What do you know about the Dragonborn? So it's true. The Greybeards really were summoning you. Masters of the Way of the Voice. They live in seclusion, high on the slopes of the throat of the world. The Dragonborn is said to be uniquely gifted in the voice. The ability to focus your vital essence into a thune or shout. If you really are Dragonborn, they can teach you how to use your gift. Didn't you hear the thundering sound as you returned to Whiterun? That was the voice of the Greybeards summoning you to High Rothgar. This hasn't happened in centuries, at least. Not since Tiber Septim himself was summoned when he was still Talos of Atmora. Rangar, calm yourself. What does any of this Nord nonsense have to do with our friend here? Capable as he may be, I don't see any signs of him being this, what, Dragonborn. Nord nonsense? Why, you puffed up ignorant. These are our sacred traditions that go back to the founding of the First Empire. Rongar, don't be so hard on Avenici. I meant no disrespect, of course. It's just that, what do these Greybeards want with him? That's the Greybeards' business, not ours. Whatever happened when you killed that dragon, it revealed something in you, and the Greybeards heard it. If they think you're Dragonborn, who are we to argue? You'd better get up to High Hrothgar immediately. There is no refusing the summons of the Greybeards. It's a tremendous honor. I envy you, you know, to climb the 7,000 steps again. I made the pilgrimage once. Did you know that? High Hrothgar is a very peaceful place. Very Disconnected from the troubles of this world. I wonder that the Greybeards even notice what's going on down here. They haven't seemed to care before. No matter. Go to High Hrothgar. Learn what the Greybeards can teach you. You've done a great service for me and my city, Dragonborn. By my right as Jarl, I name you Thane of Whiterun. It's the greatest honor that's within my power to grant. I assign you Lydia as a personal housecarl, and this weapon from my armory to serve as your badge of office. I'll also notify my guards of your new title. Wouldn't want them to think you're part of the common rabble, now would we? We are honored to have you as Thane of our city, Dragonborn. Back to business, Proventus. We still have a city to defend. 